Happy New Year, everybody! I know we're a few weeks into the month at this point. This is my first video of 2016, and it's exciting for me. It's very exciting. Um, I did not win the $1.5 billion, which I thought I was going to. I got a uh, fortune cookie with my Chinese food the night before that said I would inherit a large sum of money. And that is yet to happen. Very disappointing. So uh, if you're a distant relative who's dying out there, please send me all your money. I could really use it. Anywho, we are not here to talk about large sums of money. We are on the menu tonight. What's on the menu tonight? Let's take a look. It is the Cinnabon Oreos. Uh, I have to give a shout out to Tanya Melanson. She's the one that brought these to my attention. I didn't know they were coming out. Uh, she actually knew about six months ago, and I've been hunting them down and haven't been able to find them, and lo and behold, here they are. Now, Cinnabons. If you know the Cinnabon, uh, they've got the drink and they've got their Cinnabons. You go to the mall, you know, they're probably terrible for you. Heart cloggers. Anywho, uh, my best friend, Corey Smith, he, uh, Corey Willett Smith now, uh, he used to work at Cinnabon. And I would pick him up from the mall at night or I would be working at the mall at night and I would go home. Well, at the end of the night, they would have you know, four or five box of these things that they were just going to throw away. So I'd take them home, would bring them to my mother, uh, would stick them, it got to the point where we literally had to stick them in the freezer because we had so many of them. And it, it just got disgusting. It was just vile. And so I haven't had a Cinnabon, though it may not look like it, in probably, I don't know, 25 years? Jesus Christ, sad to say that I can say that. Anywho, uh, once again, let's take a look at the packaging. They went with that and... <sighs> Traditional packaging where you got to open on the end, you can't peel it open. Why they've changed that, I have no idea. It seems like a stupid move if you were to ask me. Um, but let, let's dive into these and let's let's smell them. I want to see if they remind me of going to visit Corey. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they do have the thing here. How did I miss that? Okay. Well, I want to see if these things remind me of the way uh, Cinnabon used to make me feel on the inside. Okay, okay. Ooh. Hmm. Take a look. What do you think of this camera angle? You like that? You like that? You like these cookies? You want to eat them? Can't. Someday we'll have the technology where I can just put this thing on a 3D scanner and then uh, you can 3D print them out and we can eat them together. Well, anywho, they're looking pretty good. I don't see any broken ones. They look like they're all pretty much intact. They look like they're packed really well. There's no missing ones. Uh, we, they smell pretty good. Um, mm. Yeah, they got that Cinnabon smell. I, I'm assuming they didn't get the right to actually use the Cinnabon name. Otherwise, it would be called Cinnabon Oreos. Just like they did with uh, some of the other, like Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Oreos. They've done the Peanut Butter Oreos, and now they've done the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Oreos. Okay, so these are a cinnamon cookie. This is only, I believe, the fourth time in, or fifth time in Oreo's complete history that... Um, they've changed the formula for the cookie. There's the red velvet, obviously the golden cookie. You got the chocolate cookie, which is the traditional one. You got the red velvet cookie. What am I missing? I'm missing one of them. Gingerbread? Did they do a gingerbread? Anywho, um, this is a cinnamon cookie, and I'm assuming it's like a cream cheese filling of some sort. No, oh, some kind of cream filling. Let me see. Hang on. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what they went with. I also saw the red velvet back in the store. I didn't think they were going to bring those out again. So much for limited edition. They might be limited edition, but let me tell you a thing or two. You can get them next year. Guaranteed. All right, let's go with a little bite here, a little square. Mmm. Goddamn. Holy shit. Been having a lot of dreams lately. A lot of dreams, a lot of nightmares. A lot of dreams and a lot of nightmares that are sticking with me. Hmm. Wow. Mmm. Alright, there are no toasted coconut, but they're fucking really good. They're really, really good. The cinnamon cookie's fantastic. It adds just enough cinnamon in there to give it a bit of a twist to the flavor. Could have gone with the golden Oreo, but it wouldn't have made sense. This is Cinnabon. I guess you could go on with cinnamon cream. That could have made sense. 
Wow. Yeah, they're phenomenal. They're really good. I like them a lot. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to try them. Anywho, uh, yeah, I've been having these crazy dreams. I had a dream that the guys over at Kind of Funny, now, if you know uh, Greg Miller, he does the Oreo oration. He's the one that kind of inspired me to get off my ass and do this. Um, uh, he's very entertaining, and they're fun to watch, so if you get a chance, take a look at them. I'll put it up over here. Um, wow. I wasn't expecting so much. Sometimes, like, you hear about these flavors and you think, man, they're just, they're just throwing out flavors just for people like me who have to try the new flavor. And they're right. I am going to try them. No matter what, it could be bacon, it could be steak. I'm still probably going to try it. I mean, unless we get down to bugs. And I have no problem with people eating bugs, but I just don't want to eat bugs. Um, I was a little concerned that they were going to taste too much like the Cinnabons I remember because back in the day, I, they kind of spoiled me. Kind of like uh, jalapeno poppers. I can't eat the, even just the thought of it. Oh, it turns my stomach. Long story. I'm not going to get into it. we got food on the table. Anywho, last test here. Let's try these in milk and see how well they pair. Milk's favorite cookie. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 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 Oh, This is a tough cookie. This is a tough cookie to crumble. I say this only because usually I can do the dip, 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 and then pull it out. It's so hot, isn't it? And uh, it's nice and soft and soggy. That was still hard and crunchy. All right, we went with about a, a nine dipper there. Okay, right there. Oh shit. Milk really does have a fascinating way of changing how I look at a cookie, or at least an Oreo. Um, I think I like them better without the milk this time, but uh, certainly they're not bad in milk. I like a softer cookie, as you know. I have little brittle bird teeth. They just shatter at the slightest little um, hardness of a cookie shell. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going with that. All right, let's give them a score. Uh, give them an 8.5. They're original enough. They stand out on their own. They taste delicious. The cream is good. The new cookie flavor is wonderful, fantastic, and you should definitely go out and try these. So if you go into Walmart, probably be about $2.98. You might be able to find them on sale for about $2.50, but give them a shot. If you like Oreos, if you like watching the show, if you enjoy um, sweets and treats, if you like Cinnabons, give them a whirl. But what do you got to lose? $2.50? 3 bucks? What's $2.50? What's 3 bucks? I don't know. I guess it's a lot of money if you don't have any. <sighs> okay. Anywho, I got a bunch of uh, ideas coming up. I know I lay some ideas on you, and then they don't come to pass sometimes. So I don't want to go too crazy and tell you too much. But um, I do want to do my predictions for Episode 8. I think that'll be a fun video for us to enjoy together. If you haven't seen my Episode 7 video, then I think you should go over here. Uh, it's my review and kind of synopsis of the film. If you have watched it, great. If you haven't watched it or if you haven't seen the movie yet, then you should probably go watch the movie before you watch it. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a dry February. As you may know from watching The Road to 40 or the podcast, I drink quite a lot of White Russians. Well, maybe I'm drinking too many White Russians. So... I'm thinking about doing a monthly uh, or a nightly video for the month of February where I drink no alcohol for the entire month. Uh, and you can watch me crumble to dust because it's going to be tough, I think. Harder than I actually uh, uh, I'm giving it credit for at the moment. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. You know me. I'm fickle like that. I'm like a young schoolgirl. Well, <laughs> not exactly. Well, yeah, pretty much. I'm a young schoolgirl. I'm a beautiful baby girl. <laughs> And you, thank you guys for checking this out. If you're loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please subscribe and pass them along to anybody who you know who might like watching them as well. Um, if you want to follow me on the social media, it's always at G-E-Y-C-E-N. It will never change. Um, don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. I think it's a good idea. 
Uh, live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when the last moment's going to come. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love. Don't let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves because they're the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliver. This is the podcast. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next episode, most likely, which will be the Loot Crate for January. All right, you guys take care, and I'll see you a little bit further on down the road. Bitches. Bitches, bitches. Me, 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 me. I like making videos for the internet. I like making internet videos. Do you like my internet videos? <laughs> Good times. Good times were had, as always. Dicks. Well, there goes another one. <laughs> These little lav mics, they don't last very long. Well, we'll keep the mic. We might be able to salvage it. We got the spring in the clip there. You're good. Damn, bitch.